Right chaps and ladies, I'm back again, If, uh, as you can see the lower hull has had the two washes, the dark wash at the top and the lighter wash at the bottom and I've painted the uh, running wheels, the return rollers and things on the top and I've done underneath with the washes as well as you've seen just to keep everything formal so, yeah, that's my beloved. Shouting at me again. So they say the washes are all. I give them a couple of coats. And it, it, it's just like that again. It's subtle again. It, it's it's what I want. And on the back side of here, I've just done a little test piece on the back there on that wrong part there of uh, the colour of the pigment when it's set. And I'm going to use. Just where the lower row, that lower running gear is, where it's freshly fresh sort of mud, is I'm going to use this wet effects, which is from Vallejo. Let's come back out a bit on that. And it's oh, wrong way again. Here we go. And it's 73828, and it's wet effects. I was going to use the damp earth, but it's too brown. Yeah, I don't. I, it's it's okay, but I preferred the. Um, the wet effect which does what it says where we are we can make it out where we going? Oh, there we go the brown one is on the bottom and the wet effect is at the top so which I find the brown one is just a bit too too brown and the uh, wet effect is just nice it's just nice so what we're going to start off with is is I've just got the pigment that I've had. I'm just going to mix a little bit of water with it. It's a little pipette somewhere. Just a little bit of water. And a brush just to... I want to paste. I don't want it too thick. I think that's about right. So we've got that sort of, it'll leave a mark. So all I'm going to do is, yeah, is nothing different to anybody else, is I'm going to start off on the bottom and just stipple it in. Same again, get behind the, the bogies, straight into the bogies at the back. Carry on again. It looks a bit brown. It's, just, it's the same colour as I've got on the hull, so we know what it's going to dry like. So there again, I'll just keep in behind the bogies again. This, you know, this this is going to go quite a long way. And just stipple it in, get it like a stipple in effect in there, and just keep going. Basically, right underneath the. Uh, the bogies again, are you seeing this? Yeah, we should be all right. And then make sure you get underneath again on each on each part and build it up gradually. Do it a little bit more there, a little bit more there, and then again around the uh, where the sprocket is going to go. I will put the wheels on once I've got this bottom part how I want it. I will put the wheels and the uh, the sprocket on. But for now they're staying off so I can get behind them easier. So let me just see if I've got any. Get behind. Let me start that one there. And that one there. I'm going to make sure obviously it's behind there and I'll just go from this side. And work my way down again and again. So you can't see, can you? And again, it just there we and same with the front again. Obviously, I'm just gonna stipple the uh, oops, sorry, you can't see where we are. I'm going too far back because I'm just gonna stipple. Oh, 
underneath. Make sure we get under the running board under that board there. Obviously a couple of splashes up under the board underneath as well. And right, then we'll just go along the top of the uh, the bogies to the ends. And again, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. I keep I should keep looking up and see what I'm doing. You don't, you don't need much once you've mixed your little mix up, it goes quite a long way. It's not going to be heavily weathered, you know, it's not going to be dripping with mud. A little bit more on there. I missed a bit in there again. No matter how I think you've done it all, you, you've, uh, you missed some bits. Like anything, weathered in is uh, it's not easy. It's far from being easy. You've got to sort of you can go over the top and you can ruin the model. So I'm just going to keep the same sort of thing as I did in overall. As you can see, there's a slight texture just with stipple in it. You get that slight texture. You're not all gloopy in one part. Just spread it out. I can do a little bit there, maybe perhaps. And as it dries, you can actually do just maybe stipple it again with a, a stubby brush just to make sure you've got the effect you want. So I shall start on this other side now again. Oops. And then you go and put your finger on it and ruin the whole bloody thing. That was clever. Right, so let's start. Start on this side now. And let's work it around. Into there. See, once I've done this, I'm going to do a slight, a slight, I've got one mixed, which is still a bit light, yeah. But I've got a lighter variant of it, but I just need to dull it down just a little touch. It's a bit, uh, a bit too bright. So that's for the the uh, upper hull, just to uh, you know, as mud dries, it, it uh, will change colour. And obviously, the older mud at the top will dry, and the fresher mud at the bottom will uh, stay dark. Because it keeps churning it up, well, depending on where they are, of course. So you keep I keep moving away, don't I? <laughs> My apologies. So it's just the angle I'm keep working at. Let's move my fingers. As you know, you, as you can see what I'm doing. It's, uh, it's uh, not rocket science. And everybody has their own, you know, their own take on weathering and how they want their tank to look. As like I say, everybody's taste is different. I never weather the tank the same, the same ever, ever. Very rare I do two, two the same. Because obviously they're in different environments, different maybe you know, different parts of the war, different where the places are, where they're actually fighting from. So you never, you never get the same two, you never get the same two effects, unless you want the same effect, of course. So let me just make sure I've got into them bogies again. Let's go from this side, and of course when the uh, pigments are dry, and if you don't like. You can always brush them off. You know, brush your poster bit off if you don't like it. Which 
you know, which is quite nice to do. Pretty good, nice effect by uh, brushing a lot of it off. Right, so let's just come around here. A little bit on the brush. Which a big fat thumb. Try not to get any in there. Because obviously, the wheel's got a uh, sprocket's got to go there. Right, so let's turn back around again and do a bit underneath here. And again. Casually okay, so sort of Incorporate the lower hole into the uh, from the from the back. Still need to finish the rusting on them parts. I'm a bit not quite happy with those yet. Sorry again, keep dusting off. Yeah, not quite happy with the uh, the orange on there. It's a bit too orange. So I wish I'll dull that down. I think. And now I'm just gonna Do the bottom of the tanks. I say usually there's a test bed, and obviously near the time when you've finished. I've also got plenty of pigment to do the bottom. I know you're not going to see, but if you put it on a piece of glass or a mirrored glass, you're going to see it. So may as well do it. It's not to everybody's taste, obviously. It looks quite dark, but it's going to dry. The same as the um, the pigments on the upper deck on the upper hole, it's just the same mixture. So I never say I've only mixed it with water, nothing else. at all brush it's even more knackered now but you know you get that effect of clumpy mud well I just need to blend that slightly in at the back To uh, get a director, I think, at this rate. So obviously now we shall leave this to dry and then we can decide if we like it or if it needs another coat. Well, I, just, I don't want to go too thick with the wood. I just want it to sort of replicate it. It's, it's been through, you know, it's been somewhere but not through thick mud. I'm sort of stippling around just to because once it, all this is dry, like I say, I'm going to use a bit of the uh, wet effects to, um, you know, replicate the uh, wet mud towards the bottom of the uh, the bogies again. You know, and and, and then I'm going to use um, the wash again to, uh, you know, some like where gaskets have come off the, uh, you know, the running wheel and a bit of oil and a bit of this, that, and the other. So, 
I shall leave that now. I'm quite happy with that. Get most of that pigment off there. So that's not going to take too long to dry. But uh, I think it's nearly it's nearly my tea time. So I'm going to leave that now until I've had my tea, and then I'll come back and work on the next stage. And I'll say. If it's dry and there's some parts I don't like, I'll just brush off. Uh, if I need to add more, I'll have to add more. But as it stands at the moment, I'm quite happy with that. And like I say, I just need to uh, dull this down. This is too light. I just need a bit of uh, darkness into there. That's just for the uh, where the mud isn't mud isn't dry. But then again, I could still use that and just go all the way along. I shall decide and then darken it with the uh, wet effect on the bottom. But we'll see when it's dry, we'll see what happens. So we've got that to that stage at the moment. And the upper hull is, I see that's 99% finished now. So I've got a figure to go into the. Uh, oh, nearly, nearly, it wasn't 99% finished. So I've got a figure um, here, just an old Tamir one for, from. Uh, from Neil the Mad Welshman, he just sent me just an Altamir figure, a pair of binoculars, so he's just going to sit in the, in the commander's cupola. I don't think I'll bother with a driver. And I say I need to weather this slightly to as, as if paint burnt, so I'm going to work out a plan how to do that. For the, uh, I can't even see what I'm doing now, sorry. Again, I'm going to work out how to um, make this burnt. So, yeah, my beloved, tell my daughter off. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to the uh, crack out. It's maybe just a black and grey pigments, wet pigment on there, just to rep, you know, as if it's been burnt at the edge, which you will do. Obviously, the paint will come off. And and then I've uh, what I've done as well today is I've. Uh, Give the storage a coat of the uh, primer, the olive drab primer. Obviously, this is going to be wood, and the other bits are going to be wood and things. And I'm going to pick out individual colours and change them. That's wood, obviously. And there's wood underneath there. They're all going to be weathered, obviously, and you know, weathered up. Same with this one on here. There again, they'll be hanging off to uh, make some little small hooks, I've got the, to thread through the uh, ones on the tank for the side and then we'll uh, be able to add those to it, that's going to be probably the last thing to add to the tank is the storage and they all obviously all need tying down and then the dreaded tracks I think will be uh, once all this is dried and I've got the wheels on I'm happy with it, we'll put the wheels on the sprockets and then I shall try and have a look at the um, Getting the tracks on, and if they don't work, I'll have to uh, cannibalize another kit. So I'll leave you here for now. I'll, say I'll uh, let it dry, and when it's dry, I'll come back to you and we'll uh, go for the next step. So this is Greg signing off, and we shall catch you soon. Right, we're back again at last. Um, what I've been doing, I said obviously we're going to do the lower hole, lower part of the hull. So I've done the first side and you can, you can see it's the same pigments and I've just put a bit of wetness on the bottom you know as if, as if the ground is well that will die a bit duller than that it's too shiny but it's, it's the rain rain effects I've put on there um, as you can see I've built it up slowly this, the, as, as the higher you go the lighter the and wood goes or soil or whatever you want to call it there's a few streaks of uh, oil or whatever comes out of them suspension arms and things like that just a bit of wash a bit of uh, black wash as well sorry black pin washing just on the uh, bogies themselves and the wheels and again it's seen you see it's gone through a bit of uh, 
wet ground so that's what we've got to finish off with and I did the rear again so I did the rear while I was there that needs finishing off that's not quite ready yet but when you get the actual base of the tank on all you see is the bottom part of it you don't actually see any of that so we've got that and we're going to turn that hopefully as well on this side like you see you see me do what I did last time the uh, just put it on with like wash and then a dark wash along the top so what we're going to do today is hopefully replicate the uh, other side so what I'm going to use to do that is obviously the, uh, the pigment that we've got and the light pigment for the top which we've got as well so I'll put that there and how do they know me and knock it and what I'm going to actually do to fix these fix the pigments onto a certain degree is I'm going to use it's the Vallejo wash but it's the oiled earth one which I showed you last time which is 76521 and it's quite a nice it's a nice colour it blends well in with the um, let's put some in here So where's my little brush that I need to put it on with? Is it that one? Yes, that one. Yeah. So we do. So I'll start off here. I'll just start off around here. So just just wet that, and I have my stippling brush with the pigment. And basically, I just nothing that anybody else wouldn't do, I suppose. Is just gradually you know, get it right round the. I can come out of there because I've got the track, the uh, sprocket to go on there. So I'm just building that up slowly. There's not a lot going on. Actually, I can use the same brush, I suppose. And then just get behind the, the uh, Bit difficult from this angle but I'll, I'll be trying to make it as clear as possible make sure you get behind the the, um, the bogies as well just go to put some on your brush and obviously when it's still wet from the uh, I'm looking at myself I can't really see what I'm doing Part is it a bit, yeah, there's just a bit missing there. So, excuse me, if I just build that up. And as you know, obviously, the pigments will just dry back to the, uh, the original colour. So, I'll just carry on with this. I'll uh, do the next one. And say, so make sure you get up behind them bogies and just above the return. Idler, oh sorry, I return the return wheel, and then again just pack it in. Bear in mind you can brush some off if there's too much on when it's dry, so it's not. And just uh, make sure you pack it in behind the uh, the bogies as well. I see. Just do a little touch more, I think. Just on that bit there. Everybody has their own ways of doing things. Probably think some people probably think, "What the hell's you doing? Why are you doing it like that?" This is a better way than that. But this work, this works for me. It does. It works for me. So again, I shall just carry on again under the the jack. That's under under the uh, bogies, and just above the. Uh, turn roller and then just there again and you see what I'm doing or I've got, I've got off uh, offline off the camera and this brush was on its last leg so I presume now it'll be it'll be going in the bin and then again get underneath the jack again. So 
pack it in behind the uh, give it a little bit more just in there Right, I don't know if you can see. So that's the. Let's come back a little bit. Let's just bring the light in. See, we've packed it in on there under the thing. Can we bring it to the light? Is that better? There we go. We packed it in under the behind the bogies. All the way along to the end. So what we're going to do now is leave that just leave that to dry slightly. It shouldn't take too long to let it to dry, and then we're going to start at the top, the lighter coloured one, and, and and blend and blend it into the, uh, the darker bits. That'll be the next step. So what we'll do now is I'll just pause this for now and we'll let this dry and I'll be back and we'll do the uh, the top so I'll sharp it too long and we'll catch you in a bit right we're back again as you can see it's, it's almost dry I think it's dry enough now to do the next part so basically we're going to do basically the same thing with a slightly lighter with a slightly lighter pigment from the same just lighten it up a bit so we'll start from this end this end just Make sure you get underneath the, uh, these sponsons as well, because they're going to be muddy as well. And you know, just what we've just done, just pack it in, and then we can blend it when it's you know, just blend it through and along the top. You can't quite see what I'm doing, can you? So it's me maybe. So just blend it in again, just make sure you've got mm, a bit down. maybe that way. Oh, that's better, isn't it? Mm. As you can see it's, it's it's wet at the moment, so you're not gonna get the uh, the true colour. Yeah, so again we'll just do the same right along, make sure you get behind the uh, just and just touch the, the stuff we had on before. blend it and again make sure you get underneath them sponsons can't quite see properly can we? Oh, there we are that's better I can wear my hat there we go. so I need to get it under there As you see, I've left the uh, the bogies at the moment. It's going to be the similar sort of principle. Just to, you know, start off with the uh, oil dirt and then pack some of the pigment in, the darker pigment. So I'll do that off camera. No point in watching me do that. It's just the same as this. And then again, just making sure that you get underneath with a bit of pigment. Let's get a bit of behind there and we'll pack it in again. Here you get lots coming off, so don't worry about it, bands anywhere. We can always brush it off. It's only really going to stick to the uh, the oiled, you know, what I'm putting on to bring it on. Yeah, it does act as it is dry and actually stays on as well, so it's almost like it is a pigment, I'm using it as a pigment fixer. And there again, just get right under there again. Start there again. Just I said, just the dawn emphasise too is get behind the uh, 
the sponsons as well because it looks silly, you can see everything's clean and not behind there, it look a bit daft. But everything else is uh, a little bit more on there I feel. And again just get your thing again and, and just go along the top inside the sponson again. And just pack it. So what we do now is just get a I won't do what I did before and blow it and blow all the pigment every bloody way. So what we've got there is basically just the same as the other side at the moment. You can't even see the colours yet because it's there because it's still wet. I've even done underneath messing around with different things underneath the tank as well, so with the water effects and things like that. So. Come on. Let's get the light underneath there. So now we'll leave that to dry. Meanwhile, I'll do I'll do the sponsor of the uh, the bogies. I don't know why I didn't do them in the first place. But they're just going to be the same again, just using the oiled earth, and then the uh, the darker and the light pigments. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll do those now and then I'll get back to you when everything is dry so we'll catch you very soon again right I'll be back again it's all dried off now so we can uh, what we should do just have a look at it and just maybe just a bits off that you you know any loose parts or something that you don't want on just take just take them off you know, just a normal large thing brush You see they've blended in quite nice together as they've dried. A few chunky bits of leg and some parts have fallen off. So what we're going to do now is I made these washes. It's just the one. This is the one. Of the oil paints. This is the uh, the Van Dyke Brown. So what we're going to do with this is to get it mixed up. A little fine paintbrush, so I can get it from this angle. You're just, just going to go around, you know, highlight a few bits and pieces. It's got, um, you know, just breaks it up. This, this will dry, so you won't be able to see it almost, but you can build it up in layers like I tend, I tend to do that now. I tend to build things up in layers. So, let's start inside there. Let's be in there. A bit on the, uh, the edges. Maybe slightly on the top. So this dries. It'll take about two or three layers to do this. And just Go around picking parts out that you want, parts out that you that you feel you need to highlight. And you got the uh, there's a little mark, little marks on each one of these from the bogies. I tend to just highlight them. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you get the line. I think I've just missed there. But And again, just let me see. Can't can see that bloody line. Oh, it's there. So these are the things that take quite a while to do because you have to revisit them all the time. See, there's the back rollers there. They should be a bit darker. Uh, as should these. But these will dry almost clear until you keep adding. Same with these little marks here, just touch them just to bring them out a little bit. You might not see them with the sprockets on but I know it's there. 
And the same with the rear here. I know that this is going to get covered up by the return roller. But I know it's there. And make, sure, make sure you go down to the uh, sides with that. Wash my brush out. We'll leave them to dry, but in the meantime, we can just put the lid back on that. This is another oil wash, this is more of a dark black wash. This one, I'll give it a bit of a shake. same brush again if I can do it at this angle I might not be able to is just a couple of little bit of streakage so you're not going to see these really uh, when they when the uh, this It'll dry, and like I said, it'll dry. Clear again, so you can't really see what I'm doing. Really, it's more like just bringing some streaks down, you know, like you know, from rain marks and grease and oil, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if the light will. I won't show you then will it really I'll tip it upside that way perhaps and the one comes off in your hand no no never mind but they say just to bring the uh, I'll do buy me hand in here now so I can see where I'm at and then I can So disappeared already. That wash. Right, so what we'll do. So let's leave that off there for now. Let's come off in my hand. Right, so I shall leave that there. So that's gonna have to keep going over and over until you can actually see it. Um, in the meantime, we have where's my other little brush that I was using? There we are. Is, I've just been using this as a wet effect, which is basically rain, you know, wet effects. Let me just bring it. Wet effects, 73828. Let's give it a good shake. An unusual colour, so the colour is quite an unusual colour, not a lot. Like a, I don't know, a greeny goo. So, what we're going to do with this, if you can see how long here, just wet, oh, I've done that side, idiot. On here, move my big fat hand. I'm just going to represent a bit of you know, wet mud. Around it, just dab it on underneath. Let the brush do though, don't try and mark it, just let the brush, you know, go where it wants to go. Don't try and make marks and shapes, just. Let the brush do it. So a lot of this is going to be hidden, but you have to keep everything. I think one side of it can't be dry, and one side of it can't be wet. And there again, I'll just put a bit under the under the rollers because obviously that's. 
in underneath the tank. I'm not going to go underneath and do the whole tank, whole, whole base, with wet effects on the bottom. I'm just going to go along the edges of it, as soon as I've uh, got the rest of the tank done in that. Okay, so you might be able to see what I'm trying to do. At the bottom there you can see it's a bit damper. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to carry on with the dark wash, the black wash and the uh, dark and the uh, Van Dyke wash. Um, I'll just build up the build up the side so it's similar to that. And then we're getting somewhere. So the wheels don't have to be done yet, but they'll be done the same again. There's no point me do showing you those online. Is sorry on this video is as I'll do them before I put them on because it's going to be quite difficult to get to the bogies at the back, um, unfortunately. So I'll do them and sprockets and the return I shall weather them up slightly again to, to match. To match what we've got there and stick me a bit of wood back on wherever I put the little bit of wood somewhere on there there we are I'm back on weather that up and I say I, and then we can start thinking about uh, see I'll, the wheels I say I'll do the wheels I finish that the, the the running gear off at the bottom I'll put the wheels on and then I'll get back to you in the meantime, I've just done a little bit more on the uh, upper hull. I put the uh, the 50 kettle on. It's quite nice that the gun is uh, not super, over, you know, super uh, detailed. It's okay though if you look going down that way. There we go. Yeah, it's somewhere coming nice, I can see with all the uh, Pioneer tools. There's a few pieces of Pioneer tools that should be going on there, but I have the storage to go on, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, so I'm going to incorporate incorporate the uh, them bits with the uh, the storage. So I've done the back up a little bit as well, similar sort of way to what I've just done. The, uh, that needs to be finished. Got the starter handle there underneath. And there's a few splash after the uh, with the the first things that I put onto the log here and onto the lower hole made the uh, the sludge mush mush sludge sort of sludge wash thing and added some more water to that and I just got on you know back of my tweezers and splattered it up against the back. I may do some on the front. I'll see when it gets when I put it together. So that's the. Uh, the upper hull. It's all coming together nicely now. It's, we move, we're cooking as they say. And I've made a start on the storage. I'll just move this out the way. I've just made a start on the storage. So, which is still a bit wet yet but I've uh, got a lot of it done. It just needs weathered now. I'm getting there with it. I'm slowly getting there with it. Oh, that bottle's not loose. Yeah. Bit, I've just put a bit of a, 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 a light wash over it at the moment. That's why it's a bit shiny. Obviously we have the pigments to go on there as well. So that's one lot of... Um, I've done some more. These are not these. Oh, Nelly. These are jerry cans. I know these are ones are jerrys, but I'm going to hide them to, just to use them up. They're not quite so. They've all got to be weathered yet. Finished weathering yet. And the uh, there's a few 
Let me see if I can pop it out the way. You know, the ammo box and things like that. The satchels. Uh, I've just done a little bit of brass on the um, on the satchels. There be some of them are going around the hull. Sorry, around the turret. There's a duffel bag of uh, a few helmets today. So I've got to make some straps for all these. Yeah, and I've got to make a strap from a, a Thompson machine gun as well. And I'm gonna have to make a bracket, which I've just realised is not in the kit. Isn't even you know for the uh, for the tow cable. This is part that goes round here, not underneath there, round about there with a clip on for the tow cable, which is I've painted it and got it ready, but I don't think it's gonna work, but we'll we shall see. And there's the other bits of the Pioneer tools, the hammer, and the uh, there's the tool cable. It needs well, obviously it needs uh, weathering. But uh, yeah, there's some more. And there's the uh, the Thompson machine gun, which needs a strap putting on it and weathered again. So everything's everything's coming together. Everything's coming together at the moment, so this is so that'll be on the back with the storage. Um, uh, there's the other bit gone. That bit there, you know, on the storage as well. So they'll be added to it near the time. And the figure I've got just got primed at the moment. It's still a bit wet. That's just the uh, him be holding these goggles. Which uh, that's the only figure I'm going to put on this one, I think. So that's ready to be painted, whatever colour it's supposed to be. So I think we're we're cooking on gas. So the next the next dip bit I'll do is the is, uh, is the wheel. As I said, I'll put all the wheels on, finish the lower gear, lower the run gear, lower running gear. Have that all done up, um, and then I'll get back to you. So I think we'll call this the end of update 4, I think it's 4, yeah update 4, yeah it is update 4, so I'll say thank you, thank you very much for stopping by and having another look at this uh, interesting Sherman, I've never, seen, I've never seen one like this before, that's what sort of drew me to it when I bought it, so we shall catch you soon, this is Greg signing off. And we'll see on the next build log.